Hey guys, this is Bharadwaj with phoneArena.com and this is the Intex Aqua Octa that we recently unboxed. So this phone is pretty high spec for the price it comes at. So it has a 13 megapixel camera which is our focus of today. So this 13 megapixel camera is uh, very similar to what we had in the Intex Aqua i7. You can see the camera samples in, in our review that we published earlier. So this is very similar, it has a 13 megapixel camera, single LED flash but no signs of a secondary uh, microphone so there is no stereo recording but it can record 1080p videos at 30 fps. So how is the camera like, how is the interface like and overall the performance that's what we are going to see in today's camera review of the Intex Aqua Octa. So let's start with the camera interface. The phone is powered by a MediaTek processor, so you see a familiar looking interface here, but there are some small tweaks. So apart from the usual shutter buttons, the settings, menu and the thumbnails, you have four toggles here for smile detection, HDR, flash and the front facing camera. There usually only used to be two toggles, but there are two extra toggles here. And even at the left side, you have a couple of new controls that uh, we will see. This is the normal mode and this is the live photo mode, which is uh, kind of a weird thing. And this is a motion tracking mode, which will take continuous shots and uh, you know track the motion of an object and then we have face detection the purification mode and the panorama mode so that's uh, pretty much it the hdr and the smile detection modes are like uh, from there it's taken here and uh, that's the basic overview of the camera going into the settings page though you'll get a lot more settings white balance image properties and a lot and going into the uh, camera still specific settings you have voice capture uh, and again all the uh, redundant features here in a switch so you can add a timestamp which is pretty new we haven't seen on other devices zero shutter delay is uh, pretty normal it constantly auto focus and lets you talk, take a shot instantly you can have continuous 30 shots picture size is 30 megapixels 12 megapixels for the 16 by 9 or rather for uh, 4 is to 3 uh, but in uh, 16 by 9 you can have 12 megapixel shots too so that's uh, one thing in standard 4 to 3 you can have 13 megapixels iso face purification and in the video mode you can see uh, the electronic image stabilization which is software based microphone can be turned off and that's about it video quality is fine which is uh, 1080p so overall that's the interface for you now let's talk about the camera performance if you remember in our Intex Aqua i7 review, we said the camera was very mediocre and that's exactly the case here too. We took several shots in uh, different uh, conditions, daylight, macro and low light. So you can have a look at all these photos one by one. So let's start with daylight. So as you saw from some of the images, there was a lot of purple tint. Not much details, fully smudged out and not really good at 13 megapixels. No, it's not good at any megapixels because uh, it doesn't take good photos. So that's the uh, mediocre camera uh, in daylight of the Intex Aqua Octa. It's uh, really mediocre, we should add. And then we also took a few macro shots, which turned out a little better than what we expected after the poor daylight performance. So here are some macro shots. So in macro, the focusing was fast. It could focus on uh, really close subjects and take decent photos, but again, a bit of washed out colors and uh, not really great performance, but uh, mediocre again uh, in terms of macro. But low light was a different uh, disappointment. So it was completely full of noise and uh, almost unusable at every uh, example. So here are some examples of the low light capabilities of the Intex Aqua Octa. As you saw, reiterating again, it is uh, full of noise and the performance is not uh, decent at all. So overall, we think this is just an average stills camera, uh, but slightly redeemed by the video capabilities. The video is quite decent, we would say, nothing uh, great. It is mono audio 
recorded in uh, stereo so there are no two different mics the audio is not crisp but the video is uh, all right it's not as bad as the stills so that's one small redeeming fact you can take a look at the video sample and judge for yourself here is it So if you're looking at decent camera performance in this price range, the Aqua Octa might be a hard sell. But other than that, the phone is pretty decent. We already showed you the benchmarks. We already showed you the gaming review. You can check out all the other videos in our channel regarding the Aqua Octa after the unboxing. So do take a look at those videos if you want other aspects of this phone. But we'll also be bringing you the full review in text and video. So have a look out for that. Now that's about it for the video and the camera review of the Intex Aqua Octa. Do let us know what you think in the comment section below. We'll definitely try to improve based on your feedback. But do also hit the like button if you like this video and do the subscribe button if you want more videos like these. Again, thanks for watching.